have been asked this question more times than I could possibly count. It seems that everyone really, really, really wants to know, how many hours did I spend studying Spanish? Every time someone asks me this, I typically just say, I don't know, I didn't count the hours, I didn't track them. And that's because that's true. While I was learning in the first year, I really didn't have some kind of strict language learning routine. I was just kind of winging it. I feel like this goes against a lot of what we see in the online language learning community, which is a lot of calculations. If I study for X number of hours for X number of days, then I will be fluent in this language in X amount of time. But that's not how I did things. I wasn't so obsessed with the final result. Of course I wanted to reach fluency, but I developed a habit around enjoying the process of language learning instead of fixating on the final result and trying to do calculations of the number of hours required to get me there. But because so many people wanted to know, I took the time to sit here and calculate how many hours I spent studying Spanish in the first year. And guys, this was not easy. I spent several hours on the computer adding up to the best of my ability every hour that I spent studying Spanish. So. Let's take a look at the numbers. I first divided my study into the various activities that I would do. I further divided these activities into active learning and passive learning. As you can imagine, active learning is the studying where I had to actually make an effort and passive learning is watching or listening to something. Italki lessons was relatively easy to calculate. I just logged into my student profile on Italki. It had a record of all of my lessons. So I was able to add up that I had 34 hours and 30 minutes of Italki lessons in the first year I was learning Spanish. Conversation exchange was a little bit harder to calculate. Most of my conversation practice was with the same person, my friend Mauricio. So I went on to Skype and added up our total conversation time. So we spent 27 hours and 55 minutes talking on Skype. I think we spent more or less half that time in English and half that time in Spanish. Therefore, I divided it by two and I put 13 hours and 58 minutes of conversation exchange. Texting with friends and language partners in Spanish, I think I spent probably about 15 minutes a day doing this. And I don't think it's something I did every single day of the week. So I put 15 minutes per day, five days per week, which gives us an approximation of roughly 65 hours in the first year. Studying new words on Anki is something I did a lot during my first year of learning Spanish. But I think I spent probably around 20 minutes per day on this activity. And once again, it's not something that I think I did every single day of the year, but probably the majority of them. So that's why I put 20 minutes per day, five days a week, giving us an approximation of 86 hours and 40 minutes spent studying new words on Anki. I also did a lot more grammar study in my first year of learning Spanish. For this, I put approximately one hour a week. We have 52 weeks in a year, so that gives us an average or an approximation of 52 hours. Next, we have the podcast language transfer. Even though I put podcasts in general under the passive learning category, the podcast language transfer goes so in depth into every aspect of Spanish grammar that I feel like listening to language transfer in particular is more of an active learning process. I went on their website and I calculated exactly how long the entire full Spanish course is, which I timed by two because I listened to it two times in the first year. So that gives us a total of 48 hours and 29 minutes of listening to language transfer. Next is YouTube videos. By some miracle, all my YouTube viewing history has been saved. If you look at the beginning of this video where I am doing all of the calculations, you can see that I go back into my YouTube history starting from January 2020 all the way to January 2021, and I wrote down and calculated exactly how many hours and minutes I spent watching YouTube videos in Spanish. And it was a lot. That leads us to a total of 98 hours and 17 minutes. Finally, I have podcasts. I listened to a lot of podcasts in the first year of learning Spanish. These aren't the only three podcasts that I listen to, but once I find a podcast I really like, I tend to binge listen to all of their past episodes, so that's what I did with these three. I went into my Spotify account and found all of the episodes that I had listened to, added them all up, which gives us a total of 142 hours and 44 minutes of podcasts. So let's look at that all together. So for active learning, we have an annual total of 280 hours and 57 minutes, and then passive learning, 241 hours and one minute, which gives us the daily average of 46 minutes of active learning every day and 40 minutes of passive learning every day. So what is the grand total? In my first year of learning Spanish, I spent approximately 521 hours and 58 minutes of combined active and passive learning, which gives us the daily average of one hour and 25 minutes. This average is based on studying all 365 days of the year. Maybe some days it was as little as 20 minutes and maybe some days up to three or four hours of study. 
but every single day of the year I did something related to Spanish. I didn't really know what to expect, but an hour and 25 minutes on average every day sounds pretty accurate to me. But the thing is, this number is an estimate based on what I can calculate and some guesswork. I could say that this is at least the minimum of what I studied, so the real number is probably this or possibly higher. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it satisfied your curiosity, but I still have more to say about this topic. I'm thinking about recording another video about my thoughts on this topic, but I still haven't decided, but stay tuned. So make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications so that you don't miss my next video. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.